So what is the number one job of a CEO? And it's a question I ask many of the CEOs that I work with. What is your number one focus? What is your number one job? What is it you do? And often when we talk about it, it ultimately it comes down to one, one element, one thing. And that is really creating the conditions for success. So you can't, you can't re re be reliant on success. Success just doesn't happen. Money just doesn't happen. Sales just don't happen. You can't guarantee any of those things. You can't guarantee sales. You can't, can't guarantee annual recurring revenue. You can't guarantee monthly recurring revenue. You can't guarantee these things. All you can do as a leader is create the right conditions for these things to happen. So what do I mean by that? What, what does that mean? So in creating the right conditions for something to happen, it's simply that you are setting your team up to be successful as they possibly can. So if that's a sales team, you're making sure that that sales team has got the pipeline of leads that they need, that they have the right quota of the number of people they need to speak to, the number of calls they need to have, so they're aware of the number of deals they need to bring in, all of those sorts of things. They've got the resources to be able to do their job properly. That's all you can do to create the conditions of, of their success. You can't guarantee any of their sales. You simply can't do that. And once you get to that change in point of view around this idea that effectively all of these other elements like monthly recurring revenue, annual recurring revenue, money in general are lagging indicators of success. Money is a lagging indicator of success. You can't just expect to get rich. You've got to obviously do something to get there. You can't, there's no guarantees of ways you can do that. Regardless of how, what you might have read on the internet, what the, book, the books tell you, there's no guarantee that you can get money. All you can do as a leader is to create the conditions and do the work to make that more likely than it was before. As I mentioned before, you can set your sales team for success in that way, but also equally you can set yourself up for success in that, that way as well. So by thinking about, well, what is it that my strengths are? What can I play to my strengths? How can I use my strengths to create conditions for success? What is it about me, or what I do, that means that I'm going to be successful in the future? And creating conditions for success as a CEO can be pretty straightforward. You have regular one-to-one -one meetings with the key people you work with. You have regular fixed agendas so everybody knows what they're doing. You have rigid ideas about what that person should be working on. Um, initiatives, no more than three initiatives. You report back on those initiatives in those meetings. You're running as fast towards a problem as you possibly can. All of these are ways of creating the right conditions for success. If you processize all of these things that you do that make great leaders, you understand what it is, is that defines what your success is for your business what are the conditions that mean success is more likely to happen and you go through and make all of those into a rigorous process then success is more likely to happen and your recurring revenue is more likely to happen monthly recurring revenue is more likely to happen again those lag ind lagging indicators come when you fix the leading indicators of success and leading indicators of success can be anything from as I mentioned, the number of sales calls, the number of sales meetings that a sales team might have. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. You've got to understand, is that a leading indicator of success? The number of one-to-one um, -one meetings that your organisation has, what you, how you report up, how you report down. All of these things can be leading indicators of success. And what happens a lot of the time with many of the ways that KPIs and measures and success is defined within business are in and around things like OKRs other ways of success, but often what can, you can notice with OKRs is often that the measurements within OKRs are set up to be lagging indicators, indicators that that team is not under the control of. So again, thinking about what are leading indicators of success versus lagging indicators of success helps you to create the conditions for success in your organisation. As the way the process flows, and also as you as a leader. What are the conditions that mean your team can be as successful as possible? That your senior C-suite team are doing everything that they need to be doing? What conditions do they need to be the most successful at their job? Are they creating the right conditions for their teams all the way down? When you start looking for creating the right conditions rather than looking for results, things dramatically change and turn to your favour. Because you've got a lot more control over the conditions than you have over those results. Because, of course, you haven't got control over those results. You simply can't guarantee those things. But you can guarantee that all of those leading indicators of success are mapped out, processized, and are 